Hi there. สวัสดีครับ You are watching Dr. Green Channel. Today we are going to show you how to do the hardware installation for the stabilizer. Today we brought two models of the stabilizer, which the first one on the left hand side is the Luminas 10 kVA. The size is big, okay. And on the right hand side is the Luminas 5 kVA, which the size is smaller than 10 kVA. And actually, there is the cover on the back, which bring us more safety when you are using and also protect anything uh, to go inside and also to touch uh, between this and make some possible short circuit. Okay, and first thing we have to uh, open the back of the stabilizer and then you will see the terminal of the stabi stabilizer which uh, showing the mains and the AC output and also for the 5 kVA is also show the mains and the output like this okay and to take the right cable from the grid or from the uh, power cable uh, which will be the input side of this stabilizer you need to check by using the lamp check screwdriver so you have to uh, check if there is the light indicate on this screwdriver that means that power cable is the line cable and if you put this screwdriver to check and there is no any light indicate or bling on this screwdriver that means that power cable is the neutral cable and you have to install it correctly on this terminal is the input okay so the mains is the input uh, power cable that means you have to connect the line power cable at this point and the neutral power cable at this point and once you have installed it correctly you have to tighten all the screws okay and you have to do the same for the 5 kVA which uh, you have to put the right power cable and in this case also similar to 10 kVA this side is the line power cable and this one is the neutral uh, power cable okay and you have to do the same for the AC output which connect to the loads or connect to the consumer box and this one there is the indicator uh, written as the L and N. That means you have to connect this side for the line and this, this one for the neutral cable. Okay? And it will be the same pattern for the 5 kVA. So you put uh, the power cable here and once you install the cable, you tighten the screw. And this, is, this side is for the line and this side is for the neutral. And the terminal is very big okay so uh, you can put the cable uh, for example like uh, 10 square meter sorry 10 square millimeters and every time you have uh, installed the, the stabilizer you have to put the the earth or the ground cable for the safety okay and another thing is if you are using the stabilizer, every time you have to put the circuit breaker for the bypass in the off position, then the stabilizer will function or working properly. But if you put the bypass on, that means this stabilizer will provide a bypass uh, situation. So it will be like connect directly to the mains okay so please be sure or make sure that the bypass breaker or the bypass switch has been turned off okay then we are going to uh, see the diagram together and to understand how to do the uh, installation of the cables or to install the stabilizer uh, properly at your home okay so the first one okay 
be I put the my laptop down here so you can uh, see easier okay so uh, for this diagram is showing how to do the installation of the stabilizer which again I have a uh, show you just now that uh, this side is for the mains and this side for the output okay so uh, at this side it will connect to the loads or connect to the consumer box okay and okay we uh, will explain you again for the from the input side until the output to the loads okay so the first one is uh, there is the power pole, okay, and then connect to the meters. And once connect to the meters, because these these two stabilizer are the main line stabilizer, so it will connect directly to the main cables, the main power cables, okay. And this is, uh, for example, is the meter, and then from the meter you connect to the safety switch, which is the double pole. Uh, circuit breaker and it has to be a uh, double pole because uh, when you uh, switch off uh, this it will be completely power off or switch off the power system in your home okay so that's why we emphasize this to be uh, you have to use the double pole uh, MCB or double pole uh, circuit breaker and from this point you connect the line cable which indicate uh, for the red color and the black color is for the neutral and this is uh, the, the color which help to uh, understand easier and, and actually this is not the DC power cable okay so once again uh, this is the AC power but I put the color to be easier to recognize uh, which cable is the line and which cable is the neutral. Okay, so uh, at this side, on this point, there are the, the terminals for the input power cable which connect from the grid or from the supply from the government. Okay, and on the right hand side, on this terminal is the output terminal so for the output terminal you have to connect the right power cable as well because this will link to the consumer box okay and this line cable have to connect here at this point and the neutral cable have to connect to this point and once you uh, see the consumer box you will see the power cable has been uh, installed uh, like this and also to the loads you have to connect the line cable to the to the loads for example for the 5 kva you also can connect uh, to the air conditioners okay you can connect to the to the pump to the water pump or connect to the submersible pump and even connect to the lights okay for the 5 kva uh, the maximum uh, loads that you can connect uh, for example you can connect to the uh, air conditioners uh, about 2 tons or 24,000 BTU and for the pump for the water pump, like a uh, submersible pump, uh, we suggest uh, you to connect uh, not more than two HP or two horsepower, which will be uh, bring the power to your submersible pump and also to adjust the output voltage automatically to be suitable to the loads here. It doesn't matter. Uh, the loads are the, the pump or the air conditioners or the lights this stabilizer can 
calculate or can determine the load and provide a sufficient power to the load. Okay? And this is managed by the microcontroller. That means it can work faster than the individual digital circuit stabilizer. Okay? So, these are the, the connections uh, that is quite simple and you can uh, follow this diagram for your safety. And once again, don't forget the connection at the earth or the ground because this is for the safety. Mm -hmm. And if there is the electrical leakage, so it will go to the ground. Okay, so uh, this is uh, for your safety, but uh, someone might ask, uh, even I connect the earth or I, I, I don't connect the ground cable is still uh, working. Yes, uh, it, it will work. Uh, it, it, will, it will normally work, but we recommend uh, for safety, you have to connect the earth cable as well, which indicate over here for the 10 kVA and for the 5 kVA is indicate here as well, which uh, that the same symbol. Okay. And someone might ask, uh, is it okay if I don't install the double pole MCB over here? It is okay because um, actually there is the the stabilizer breaker to manage uh, the in the incoming or the input power power from the grid. Okay, but you can think about uh, when you want to do some service or uh, to do some maintenance uh, for this uh, stabilizer or you, you want to expand or increase the size of this uh, stabilizer from 5 kVA to 10 kVA, for example. So it might be better or more safety if you put the double pole MCB in front of the stabilizer. So every time you are going to do the service or uh, to clean up the system or to uh, change the power cable or maybe to put more uh, stabilizer on this point for the distributed architecture, for example, so you can do it as well. So this is the, actually is the advantage if you put the double pole MCB over here, but if your home uh, just uh, okay with that size or that capacity of this, the stabilizer, for example, you have uh, design and, and, and we'll use the 5 kVA for uh, for your home and there is no anything else or nothing to be uh, added in your power system at your home so it will be okay if you install this cable directly to uh, this main terminals okay so uh, today is uh, showing about the, the installation and and this is the these are the the diagrams that uh, show you how to do the installation and on next video i will uh, share you about the installation of other stabilizers that we are uh, providing and you can choose uh, the the proper uh, stabilizer for your use case because we have uh, like several stabilizers which can work according to your requirements for example uh there is the stabilizer which work very well for the water pump and and work extremely fast uh to adjust the voltage so uh for the case of the agriculture uh use case or the use in the farm or use in the like the the, the in the garden uh which you need to uh, pump the water by 24 hours uh, in some season, then uh, we recommend you to use this model as well. But uh, actually, these uh, Luminas for these two models are working well with the main lines, so you can use it.
to control your home, the power for your homes, okay? And even uh, to use in the farm. So uh, that is the stabilizer uh, diagram for the power cable installation. And we hope this video will give you some idea uh, how to do the proper installation. And someone might ask uh, that, uh, do I still need to check the voltage between the neutral and the earth before install the stabilizer? Yes, because uh, this is the recommendation for you before install the stabilizer, you need to check whether the neutral and the earth on the neutral and ground voltage difference should not be over five volt. Okay, this is this is the the prerequisite that you need to check prior prior to uh, install the stabilizer. And once you install, you have to tighten, of course, and the space between the stabilizer from the wall or any, uh, maybe you can uh, install uh, beside the wall or install close to some point, but you have to leave the space by five centimeters at all sides. For example, on the side, you have to uh, put and give the space for five centimeter here and also five centimeter on the other side and also on the back side as well. So we hope uh, this video will give you uh, the idea how to do the installation. And if you have any question, you can uh, leave the comments or ask us by uh, reach us on the line application or uh, ask us on the Facebook or any uh, social media that we uh, post and you can find us as well. And hope uh, you will do the installation uh, properly. And if you find any uh, problem or any question, uh, please contact us and don't open the cover of the stabilizer because uh, this is regarding the warranty. So once you have any uh, problem when you install, you can uh, just make a call to our team or our support, which will be available 24 seven. Okay, once again, uh, thank you for watching and please stay tuned with us because we will uh, keep shooting the video, which will be uh, the use case or the interested uh, topics which you will find uh, maybe suitable in your case and can answer the question uh, that you are looking for. Okay, I think that will be uh, should be enough uh, for today and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching again. สวัสดีครับ